Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Lukafo and sorry about my voice if it sounds a bit weird. I'm kind of sick so. But I, I was really excited about this topic so that's why I just decided to put it out. So what we'll be doing today is quite exciting for me because um, I've been always thinking of how to accomplish this in Blender. It's basically how to attach objects to your um, hair system. So there are so many implications for this that means you can add that on top onto your hair you can add water droplet as you just saw you could add um, nice hair ribbons like so many implications so let's just jump right into the tutorial and let me show you guys how this all works as you can see it actually even moves along in simulation and you it also gives you so much controls that you can create various um, type of effect with it okay so let's go to a new scene and we'll just add a nice uv sphere and just place it on top of the grid let's smooth it out a bit <coughs> okay so um next let's add our hair system so like you you do we we'll go to add hair and let me add a second material for the hair just make it black and in particle system under render setting i will switch it to that material okay so for the hair length i'm just going to set it to one for the number of hair i'm going to set it to 500 so one thing you should bear in mind is when when it's time to add the object so blender is going to add the object based on the number of the particles um it's not going to um take into account the children particles so the number of particles you have that's the amount of object is going to add onto the hair so um so 500 is good for what we want and we can jump into the particle edits grab our comb brush and work the magic um now I'll just quickly push this down Can even try for something really extreme so you can see how straightforward and powerful this kind of method this method is so something like this okay <coughs> excuse me now um we are all set we can just add the object we want to add onto the particles um in this instance we want to be adding a cube okay and so for this cube what we will do is we'll just um, for before the next step you have to go to your user preference and to just make sure you have this add-on enabled and the add-on is called copy attribute so this add-on is very powerful um, so you have to enable it for the next step because it speeds up my workflow so what you want to do now is before we continue press ctrl a to rotate apply the rotation and scale of all objects now we can select the cube shift select the sphere and press ctrl c and what we want to do is copy the location we also want to copy the rotation and copy the scale just to make sure um, the cube is placed in this has the same origin point with the uv sphere so it makes your it makes it faster um, for you to work like that um, so if you're looking for the cube the cube is right in the center of the uv sphere so that's what we want and we can just select the cube go to the modifier stack and on that simulate you want to select particle instance and now we can switch the object to sphere okay and this looks really big we cannot scale it you it's you should not scale it in object mode what you want to do is scale it in the edit mode okay <coughs> so once you scale it in edit mode um, you can leave everything as it is, um, but what you want to do is click on create, um, create a long path. And now we can just, uh, in some instance, it will uh, automatically snap to the right position, but in some instance, you have to uh, manually push it. And most of the times, it's really straightforward. Like for this one, we can just move it down and it matches. Okay. And now we can click on keep shape and yeah so you can see it has created um, the cubes right at the end point of the hair so in case you want to like move it let's scale this down a bit 
Okay, so as you can see, it's actually right with in, in the right place. So in case you want to like cr um, create more variants to like you want to add, uh, for example, the example you saw earlier, adding water, um, how I created it to look really random is I can duplicate this instant particles geometry and then on the position I can add, add random and it's just going to pl um, place it randomly on the particle hair system you can also delete it and add more randoms you could even add random rotation so it has so much control and also you can control the amount of hair the amounts you want along the hair particles and a good thing is it's all parented um, and you don't have any extra objects in the scene everything is now connected to this object and the particle system so you can scale it and even apply simulation onto the hair and it's gonna work perfectly so thank you guys for watching this tutorial i hope it was really helpful or you've learned something or two please share this video and don't forget to hit the like button so that the youtube algorithm can suggest this kind of helpful video to more blender users and yeah so if you would like to see more from me don't forget to subscribe bye bye for now see you next time